In this video, I'm going to build the same Discord bot command using six different programming languages. Let's see which one works best. Until now, I've made all my videos in Discord bots using JavaScript, TypeScript, or Python. But today, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and trying something different. I'll be testing a few other languages to see which one is the easiest and which one gives me a real challenge. The plan is simple. We'll build the same command in every language, and when I run it, the selected channel should instantly get deleted. Let's see which language handles it like a pro and which one makes me suffer. So here we are in Visual Studio Code. And first, we're going to create our bot in JavaScript. So let's quickly install a few dependencies that will help us out. Let's create a new folder and open it up. All right. Now inside this folder, I'll create another folder named JavaScript and then open the terminal. Once we are inside this folder, I'll create a new node.js project using npm init, which will automatically generate some basic files for us. Now let's install discord.js. And that's all we need to start coding a Discord bot in JavaScript. While discord.js is installing, let's also create a new file named index.js. And this is where we'll write our main code. All right. So as soon as discord.js finished installing, you can see that a few more folders and files have appeared here, which means our discord.js has been successfully installed. So now let's quickly write the code, and then I'll show you how much time it actually takes to create a bot command in JavaScript using discord.js. All right, so it's finally completed. And if we take a look, we wrote a total of 59 lines of code. And I've only written it, uh, not tested it yet, but I hope there will be no errors. So let me quickly explain the code. Uh, in the first line, we defined everything we needed. And in the second line, we did the same. After that, we created three variables. The first one is for our bot token. The second one is for our bot ID. And the third one is for our guild ID, because we are installing this command only in a specific guild, since this is just a temporary command and registering it globally is not a good practice. After that, we set the required intents. Then we created a new slash command. And I really like this structure because it looks clean and easy. Then we wrote the code to register our slash command and added a console message so we know when the code is ready to use. After that, we wrote the code that tells the bot what to do when the slash command runs. And finally, we logged the bot in. So now I'll quickly add the bot token ID and guild ID, and then we'll run the bot. OK, I've added everything. And now if I run node index.js in the terminal, the bot starts within a few seconds. And when we go to our server, the bot shows online. Now we type slash delete channel. And if the command appears, it's good. And if it doesn't, just restart Discord once, and it will appear. Now when we run it, select a channel and hit Enter. and you. I can see it works perfectly. All right. So I can say that making a Discord bot in JavaScript with discord.js is very easy, maybe because I am good at it, but also because it is one of the most popular libraries for Discord bots. And it has a very active community, which means any new feature gets added really quickly. Well, now let's try to make the same command using Python. So we are in Visual Studio Code. And here, we will create a new folder named Python. And inside it, we will create a file called index.py. This is where we will start writing our code. But before that, we need to install a few Python libraries that will help us build the Discord bot. So let's open the terminal and move into the Python folder. So just like we used discord.js in JavaScript, we will use a library in Python called discord.py. To install it, we will type pip install discord.py in our terminal. And within a few moments, it will be installed. Now, I am going to start writing my Python code, and then we will see whether we face any issues or if everything goes smoothly. All right, wow, that's nice. And Python did everything in just 45 lines of code. And honestly, it felt a bit easier. I have coded bots in Python before, and I even have a full series on it, but it still felt really good to code again after a 
while. So let me quickly explain what we did here. First, we imported Discord. Then from Discord, we imported app commands and other things we needed. After that, we created two variables, one for the token and one for the guild ID. Then we enabled the intents, set them up, and gave the bot a prefix command in case we ever want to add prefix commands later. After that, we wrote an event for when the bot is ready, where we registered the slash command and displayed a message to confirm that the bot is logged in. Then we created our slash command and added a channel option to it and handled it accordingly. Finally, we logged in the bot using bot.run. All right, now let's open the terminal and to run the Python file, we just type python index.py and our code will start running. Now, if we go to Discord and try the command, you can see that it works, which is really cool to see. All right, so now JavaScript and Python are the two main and most popular languages used for creating Discord bots, as far as I know. And now we are moving toward languages where not many people create Discord bots. And of course, I know a bit about their syntax and how things work, but I will need to learn and research a bit. More so now, I am going to try creating a bot using Java, and I'll be back in a few moments. All right, so after spending some time, I feel like I have become a pro in Java. Psych! Just kidding, but I think I have understood the syntax and a few things now. We will be using JDA to create a Discord bot in Java, so let's quickly set up everything. First, we will create the Java folder here, and now let's open our terminal and go inside our Java folder. To set up a Java project, we have to use something called Gradle, and for that, we need to install Gradle. Since I want to install Gradle on Windows, I will open PowerShell and run scoop install Gradle and it'll start installing. After a while, once it is installed, if we type Gradle in version, it'll show the Gradle version, which is very good. All right, now let's go back to our Visual Studio code. And to initialize a new Gradle project, we will type Gradle init slash type, Discord bot in Java in the terminal and press enter. After that, you will see that it has created some files and folders for to us. So first, we will open, build, and Gradle. And here in the dependencies section, we will add something that might look a bit weird, and that is our JDA, which we will use to make the Discord bot. This is basically like discord.js in JavaScript and discord.py in Python. So it's JDA in Java. All right, now we will save the file and go to the main folder then Java and open app and Java and remove everything from there. And now we will start writing our bot code here and I will have to search a lot and check the docs. So I will complete the code and meet you after that. Oof, that was pain. And uh, you know what? It took me 10 minutes just to realize that the error was happening because I used single quote instead of double quote. But yeah, so in a hurry, I will explain everything to you. First, we imported JDAP Builder. Then for the text channel we want to delete, we imported text channel, we imported interaction for slash command handling option and for adding options. And similarly, we imported this for logging in to the Discord bot. And after that, we created a code 
where we created a new app, and you can say logged in using the bot token. Then we created a slash command and added option. This part felt a bit easy and similar to discord.js. So this was easy after that, handled slash command interaction. This part was also easy. The part which was difficult and scary was the import bro. What the hell is this? But yeah, let's test it. We have to go to our terminal and do gradle run, like that, and it ran. Nice. And now if we go to discord and run the command and select the channel we want to delete and hit enter, you can see it's working nice. All right, by the way, if we talk about lines, I've written only around 35 lines in Java, which is a bit less compared to discord.js and discord.py. But yeah, now let's try to make the same thing in Rust, and I have already installed Rust. And the process was easy to install Rust. But now let's see how easy it will be to make a bot, and we will use a library called Serenity. All right, so first here, I will create a folder named Rust, and then open the terminal, and go to the Rust folder, and to create a new Rust project, we will use Cargo, which gets installed when we install Rust along with it. So to create a new Rust project, I will type Cargo New and Discord Bot, and this will create our project. Now I go into this Discord Bot folder, so that running it is easy. Now we have to go to Cargo, Toml, and add some dependencies. So I quickly do that, and then now we go to main RS file. And here we have to start writing our code. All right, so now I will start again doing research and writing code, and then I will meet you. But the syntax, I hate that. I mean, it is using every symbol. And in some places, it also felt a bit similar to Python, but it took a lot of lines. You can see around six or seven. Now, let me explain it to thank you so again. First, we imported the things we needed. Then we wrote the code to register the slash command here and also printed it in the console. After that, we handled interaction create here, which happens after the command runs. And then we created our slash command. And after that, we did some setup for our bot, like enabling intents and creating a new client. All right, so to run it, we will go to our terminal and do cargo run and perfect it is running. I have already run it once, so that is why it was faster. If you run it for the first time, it will install the dependencies, so it may take some time for you guys. All right, now let's go to Discord, run the command, select our channel, and nice, it is working. So now only two languages are left that we have to try. First, Go language and second, C Sharp. So let's try to create a bot using C Sharp first. So I will do some research and come back in a while. Two hours later. All right, so after a long time, I am very sad to say I couldn't, I mean, it's not that I couldn't make the bot in C Sharp because there is a library called Discord net to create Discord bots, but the issue is installing C uh, Sharp packages and managing them and I think Discord uh, net is not compatible with the latest .NET version. So the project is having issues running. So let's move to our last language, which is Go. All right, so let's first create a Go folder here and then open the terminal. Go inside the Go folder, and to set up a Go project, we have to run some commands. So first I'll run go mod initgithub.com slash my GitHub username and Discord Go. This creates a new Go module for your bot, and after that, let's install Discord Go. So to install it, let's do go get github.com slash bwmarin slash Discord Go, and it'll start installing Discord Go. And again, I 
I don't think I have to say, but Discord Go is a library to make Discord bots in Go language. All right, and once it is installed, we will create main, Go file, and start writing our code. And I will complete this and then meet you. All right, guys, not gonna lie, it was a pain to write code in Go language, but yeah, it's completed. Let's see if it will run. So let's open the terminal and do go run main go. So it has started now, very nice. Now we will go to Discord and run the command and see so the channel got deleted. Nice, so damn bro, this was a big video and it took me a lot of time to complete it. But yeah, it was fun and it felt good to know that developers have made libraries in every language to create Discord bots. But yeah, again, Discord, JS, and Python are pretty good to make. Discord bots, comment what you think about it. Bye guys.